Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Another Vainglory update is about to roll out. There are some uh, significant hero balance changes this time around, so let's do another video. Go through them, see what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, and as always, you guys can leave your comments below, see what you agree with or you disagree with uh, from my analysis. So let's get started. Uh, the first hero getting changed is Batiste. Batiste is getting a slight buff, apparently. Uh, both his perk and his bad mojo are going to start doing a little bit more damage. Uh, mostly CP Batiste is going to get buffed with this. I think it's okay. I mean, Batiste was alright in the game. It's just a little quality of life uh, for him. It doesn't really bring Weapon Batiste uh, fully back as I was hoping for. But uh, definitely CP Batiste is a lot more viable now. Uh, next hero up, uh, Baron, also got a buff, uh, small, really small quality of life changes on the range, on the armor, on the shield, like, these values are like so small, they don't really change much in practical terms. Uh, the Porcupine Mortar also has uh, less uh, energy cost uh, overall, so um, trying to give a little bit of help to Baron to get him back a little bit more into the meta. I would consider him like an A tier uh, player for the bot lane. Uh, the S tier ones being probably uh, Kinetic, Black Feather, and uh, some other melee uh, heroes. Anyways, let's not do the list. Let's keep going on the on the changes. Uh, Catherine, she got a little bit of a buff on the Merciless Pursuit. No, actually, a bigger cooldown, so it's a nerf. Okay, so uh, uh, longer cooldown times. The stun duration is slightly lower on the, on the, last, um, on the last level. Uh, Storm Guard uh, gives less damage amplifi amplification, so very small nerf to Catherine. I think it's fine. I mean, I think she didn't need the nerf, but it's not that big of a deal, I think. Uh, should be a good, uh, still viable player to uh, or hero to pick up. Um, Flicker, he got a bit of a buff. I kind of needed it. He's one of the last used uh, support uh, heroes. His Fairy Dust is going to start doing more damage. Uh, damage per second also increased. And his Moon Cloak has uh, decreased the cooldown. So he will be able to use it uh, a lot more often. Not that much of a big change. Just small, does a little bit more damage, pretty much. Um, Aramcha, it's one of my favorite characters to play right now. Uh, damage reduction per stack is going to be a lower, so it's going to get a little bit of a nerf, and uh, Hangry, the B, uh, also the bonus attack speed, is going to get a little bit of a, a nerf as well. So overall, a small nerf for Grumpcha. I think it's fine. He was a bit overpowered, especially on 3 versus 3. Uh, on 5 versus 5, Grumpcha is most mostly an early game kind of hero. On late game, you kind of decay and you're better off uh, switching completely to like um, a tank meta of some sort where you actually become utility with Grumpcha instead of actually trying to do some actual damage on it. But I guess it depends on how you want to play him. Moving on, uh, Karas. Uh, the cooldown is uh, lower, uh, and the twister is gives uh, more uh, power ratio uh, damage, and the cooldown also lower. So overall, uh, a small buff to Karas. Haven't played Karas much, so I don't really know how much this affects him. I assume it won't affect him much. I hear that Kara's main source of damage is his ultimate. So, I don't know. Uh, if you guys play Karas, let me know how you feel about this uh, change. And let's keep going on the list. Castrol, she got a little bit of a nerf. Uh, her uh, Glimmer Shot will now do 5% less damage. That's reasonable. Castrol was doing shit ton of damage. I would even have nerfed her a little bit more. Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, Kinectic. Uh, her Tracer Shots do a little less damage. And her Charged Pulse also does a little less damage. I think this is warranted. Kinetic is a bit too much annoying, especially when she h h hits like her... Um, uh, power spike. Um, she can become quite deadly if she snowballs early on, so uh, I think it's a welcome nerf to her kit. Uh, Cruel got a big buff from what I hear. Uh, his health significantly increased, uh, movement speed also increased, empowered situation also increased, uh, spectral smite also increased, so big buff for 
for uh, Cruel overall. He wasn't uh, as picked as he used to be. And uh, this will definitely bring him a little bit more into the meta. I think for 3 versus 3 is going to be a lot more uh, useful. You will probably be able to see a lot more of the old cruel style of play where you just accumulate stacks and you try to out sustain the team fight um for five versus five that's not very viable because you just burst with damage uh, against your opponent so uh, curious to see if he will be useful for five versus five or not i think not but that's my my premonition let me know what you guys think on the comments below also, also one of my favorite characters is going to get a little bit of a buff. He amplifies more of the healing. I think that's pretty good, especially on 5 versus 5. He seems to burst out real easily, which is not the Ozo that I'm used to, especially if you're used to playing Ozo on 3 versus 3. He's supposed to out-sustain the entire team fight, which just doesn't happen. Similar to Cruel, actually, which just doesn't happen on 5 versus 5 on the late game. If you're like 1 versus 2, you might be able to take some out of it if you have a support next to you you might be able to capitalize on his uh, on his perk but other than that's very hard for him to sustain on five versus five team fights the three ring circus his a ability will also do more damage like 10 more damage so it's um, significant okay let's see how also behaves i'm curious to try also again on the top lane it should be an interesting uh, character to play on the top lane again uh, Ringo will have a buff as well, more base weapon power, and uh, Hellfire Brew will also do a little bit more damage. Uh, I guess it's okay. Uh, comparing that he was almost always not picked when compared with Kinetic, Kestrel, uh, Gwen, I think this is a good quality of life for Ringo and might help him put him back into uh, the high tier uh, hero selection. The Sun Feng, he got nerfed. I don't think this was warranted. I think Sun Feng was in a decent position. He didn't really need any tuning, but let's see what they did anyways. The stun duration is now slightly less, and the damage for the Divine Fist is also uh, slightly less. I agree with the reduction on the Divine Fist. It does do a ridiculous amount of damage, so I, I agree with that. The stun duration... I think it was fine as it was. It didn't, didn't really need, and it was like 0 0.2. That's 200 milliseconds. So that's 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 a bit. That's a bit. Like in in terms of stun, that's quite a bit. So I think this was a bit too much of a nerf on uh, on Sanfeng. But well, let me know what you guys think on the comments. Uh, Shin. I don't play Shin, so I don't really know how this will affect him. The slow and root cast chain range apparently is significantly down. Root duration also down. Sacred Flames, it's his ultimate, uh, got rescaled. That was a bug, apparently. I have no clue if this is good or not. I assume it's a little bit of a nerf, considering what happened with B, but I really don't know. Uh, what happened with uh, C ability here. So you guys that play Shin, please let me know how this affects Shin overall. Really stopped getting uh, first pick banned or not. Uh, Varia, um, the Stormforged Spear will do a little less damage. I don't think that's warranted. I think she was fine. The cooldown for the B is uh, slightly higher. Hmm. I don't think that's warranted. I think she was fine as she was. She didn't need this. I mean, if you compare a lot of the mid lane heroes, you have Celeste, you have Samuel, you have Scarf, uh, you have Malene. All of them are are outpicking out uh, Varia. Even Vox is being picked a lot on the mid. I didn't think Varia needed the nerf, so I think this was unwarranted, uh, especially on competitive skills. I don't know. Maybe in low tier, people abuse Varia because people don't know how to play other heroes as good but on competitive levels i think this uh, nerf was unwarranted on varia let's take a look at what they did with viola viola has been one of the most overpowered heroes lately uh, her discord was uh, reduced uh, the power ballad also uh, got quite significantly more increased cooldown this might have been too much. I agree that it needs a nerf. I don't think three seconds is adequate, though. I think uh, like just one or two more seconds would have been more than enough. Our dissonance also does less, and the damage over time, uh, damage over time, crystal power ratio, 
uh, I guess it's just the damage it does, um, is also reduced. Might have been too much of a nerf to Viola. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, but I think it, it's a little bit too much. Let me know what you guys think on the comments. And that's it for the update notes for update 4.12. Let me know what you think. Was there any hero that uh, should have been nerfed that didn't? I, I'm thinking especially of Black Feather. Everyone seems to be playing him now. Uh, he seems to be overpowered. I didn't understand the buff that they gave him on the previous update. I was hoping that they would revert it a little bit on this update. They did not touch Black Feather, so that's quite uh, weird in my mind. Is there any other hero that you think is too overpowered right now? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, that's all from me. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.